just woke up out of my sleep and saw that we are at 99,990. It was it was about 10 short than what it is now. And I wanted to share that moment with y'all when we reach 100K. So here we are. I think I'm gonna have to go back and <laughs> edit the front of this video before I post it because I reached back and I think I let a little boob out. So hope you're here to enjoy it because it might not go up. Okay, so as of now, we are at 99,994 subscribers. Sorry, y'all, I'm not trying to ignore y'all. Hello and welcome. Let me find the live view um, thing. Let me see. I don't think it's gonna let me do it on my iPad. So I don't I don't know how I should have done some research, y'all, but it's been so busy. So I just have to let y'all know when we get to 100 k So it just moved to 99,995. Let me see if I can get my niece to bring me my other laptop. I don't even have no bottoms on. Hold on. Because I want y'all to experience it too. Okay, hello, hello and welcome. Hello, forgive <laughs> how I'm looking. So it just went to 99,996. So if you're watching the live and you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. And y'all want to make sure that y'all like this video. Oh, oh Lord, she at school. Forgot it was an Instagram girl. So we just hit 99,998. There has to be like a way to screen share. This is so whack. I should have been prepared. <sighs> Thank you so much. How's everybody doing today? I'm just here. Just woke up. Need to go brush my teeth. Need to put on some clothes for the work day. And I humped up and I was like, oh crap. So we're now we're at 99,999. <gasps> we just hit it. A hundred thousand. A hundred K. And look at me. I could have been recording this for socials. And what do I do? <sighs> I swear I'm the worst. I'm the worst. So, yes, we just hit 100K over on YouTube. I'm here with my YouTube people. We just hit 100K. So dope. Such a dope moment. Okay. Yay! <laughs> so exciting. So exciting. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Make sure you hit the like button. I am so excited. Do let me show y'all something. So y'all know I'm big on vision boards, right? And so I set some goals for myself at the beginning of the year with my vision board um, as far as social media is concerned every year, right? Since that first year I did it and stuff actually worked out, I set some goals for myself. And I was not sure that YouTube was going to reach this goal. It was moving so slow. It's, it's ugly, y'all. It's, it's definitely not a cute tracker. But let me show y'all. So looks like YouTube, we're going to get to that goal. I've almost reached all of my other goals except for TikTok. I want a million followers on TikTok, but it's slow rolling, y'all. I've got, I don't know. I've got hope, but I don't know if I'm going to reach it over there. This is so cool. Okay, so make sure you like the video. Everybody that's in the stream right now, trust me, like the video. We only got 39 likes, and it's 118 of y'all in here. 
So slide on down to that like button and hit the like button for me. Because 58 likes is not getting me excited to do something cool for y'all. Thank you so much, y'all. I appreciate the congratulations. Honestly, I appreciate y'all, man. Like, it's not possible without y'all supporting the channel. It's not on any of my socials. It's not possible. I know that this is like a mutual relationship. You know what I mean? You watch me for a reason. And I mutually benefit from you being a part of my community. But again, we can't do this without each other. So if you've been here for no matter how long, especially y'all that have been rocking with me since the beginning, I seriously appreciate you. It's, I, <laughs> I know this is only the beginning of milestones. I try not to put limiting beliefs on myself, but this is really cool to reach this moment. And I just had to celebrate it with y'all. Brawless and all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I just appreciate y'all so much. Okay, so I'm going to give y'all one more minute to hit the like button and then we're going to do what we're going to do. Okay, because y'all got to finish working on this course. Y'all. <laughs> Building a course in, and importing it and editing it and putting it into a, a funnel, y'all, this has been one of the hardest things I have ever done in my life. I think because I'm a perfectionist and I really want it to be, you know, perfect. <laughs> really want it to be good. <laughs> and I don't want people to feel like I bought that and it didn't work. I've been working, like this week, I've worked on it like seven hours a day, every day, going back, refilming, refixing slides. I'm so nervous about it. I just want people to love it and be like, oh my God, that really helped. So anyway, thank you. Hi, congratulations. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the congratulations. Okay, so we've reached 100 likes. That's super dope. Thanks for that, y'all. So since we've reached 100,000 subscribers, I always said I was going to give away $1,000. So since y'all are here, y'all are the gang, do y'all want me to give it away to one person or do we want to give away $100 to 10 people? Leave your vote. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Erica. That's what I'm saying, Kelly. Like, this one is just, like, very beginner, just for people who want to build their budget. But I think it's stressing me because I just, <laughs> you know, I don't know. So we're going to do 10 people. $100 to 10 people. Okay. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. What do y'all think we should do to give it away? Again, I, did, I expected this to happen next week. Like, my subscribe, I gained probably 10,000 subscribers in like six days. So I'm not prepared at all. How would y'all like to do the giveaway? What should we do? Because I can just have y'all type in y'all's, um, what can I do? Let me see where I put some money at. Um, your PayPal or your Venmo and something, and I can pick randoms. Okay, random picks. Okay, okay, let's do it. Let me let me figure out which how. Let me put some money somewhere, y'all. Again, unprepared. Is it okay if we do uh, PayPal? Does everybody have PayPal? Because I don't want to be Venmoing from my account 10 times in a row. Bank of America going to flag me. I don't do Cash App. I can do Zelle for a few people. But, nah, but, okay. Okay, let's go. So let's do a number game. All righty. The first, we'll start small. Let's do a number from, where's my calculator? So I can put it on there so don't nobody feel like 
they getting cheated. Okay, we're going to do a number between 1 and 50. Okay? And overseas people, as long as you can get PayPal. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let me scroll up. Hold on, y'all. See if I see it. Shoot. Comments going fast. Let me see. Let me see. Ooh, so some of y'all are close. Let me see. Let me see. Shoot. It keeps skipping. Okay. Let's see. I see. Let me go up. Make sure that nobody said it before her because y'all be ready to kill me. Um, okay. It's C-Y-G-N-E. Vara. That's who got it first. The number is... Uh, I don't know if y'all can see it. The number is 43. And it's C-Y-G-N-E. Vara. She got it first. C-Y-G-N-E. I don't want to butcher your name. <laughs> you just turned 43. That's cool. That's cool, sis. What is your PayPal? I'll send it right now. So I don't even have to write it down and be forgetting and stuff. Congratulations. Yes, that's so cool. Let me see. Send money. Did she put her name up yet, y'all? Yeah, it's just your email is fine. And I'll go back and delete the comments after the live. Don't worry, I won't I won't leave your information up. Or you can post it long enough for me to send it and then delete it. I know, dude, it goes so fast. It said, phew, it flew right <laughs> I had to scroll up. Yes, this is uh, your email. Let's see if she types it. Amy, I didn't see your, your 43 on my, uh, Amy, Amy can have it. Amy didn't show up first on my screen. So do you not want it? I'll say the number again and we'll, uh, we'll go again. If you're foregoing your prize, it's not how it shows up for y'all, y'all. It's how it shows up for me. That's that's not fair. Cause I can't go off of everybody's different screen. You know what I'm, I'm not trying to be ugly. I promise, but I can literally show you a screenshot. That's that's how it shows up for me. Cause I've been on lives like that too. So do you do you wanna? Give your prize to somebody else. Girl, I can send it to you. And if y'all that cool, send it to her. But I'm I'm not gonna do that. That's I feel like that's not fair. That's only the first one, by the way. You can win again. That's I know that's that's what I said. Hey. Hey, sis. Y'all, I'm not I'm I'm not doing all that. Okay, let's do it again. A number between 1 and 50. Y'all stressing me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm only going based on my feed. Somebody got it off the rip. Before I could even type it in. Uh, I thought. Paola? 22. Did anybody say 22 before her? Um, yeah, no. 22. Paola Nunez. It's 1 to 50. Sorry, sis. It's going to be 1 to 50, but Paola already won that one. Yay! Okay, Paola, send me your, your PayPal. Send me your PayPal, girl. Yeah, I mean it's it is it is all in fun. <laughs> can I do Venmo? Yes, Paula. For you, I can Venmo. What's your Venmo? Congratulations. 
I wish you, you know, I wish YouTube would let me play music, but they be tripping. P A O L A. Okay, give me one second. Is it a picture of you and somebody else? Uh, a man? Hola. Yes, okay. Okay. Um, but like it, it's it's making me give in the last four digits of your phone number. Do you mind sharing that? You can literally delete it after you send it. Three seven nine. Eight. Okay, it's on its way. Okay, up next, let's do... Okay, Chia, thank you for being here. Okay, again, we are doing... Um, hundred. Since we've reached 100,000 subscribers, I'm giving away $1,000. Y'all, let me write down how much I've given away because I will forget. And I'll be sitting here looking stupid. Okay, so we did $100 to Paula. All right, this time we are going to make it a little smaller... Right, so now, everybody ready? Okay, this time we're gonna do it small and simple. We're going to do a number between one and, mm, between one and 30, go. Oh, Heather got it, Heather got it. Go quick, Heather Brodnax. Got it. My number was 17. Yay, Heather. Dang. It'd be like the first person commenting to get it. Heather, what's your PayPal? Thank you. I'm glad you love my channel. Let me look. Let me look for Heather's name. Heather, Heather, Heather. I know this is fun, right? I love giving away stuff. It makes me feel like Oprah. <clears throat> Thank you, girl. Yeah, it's definitely been cold. It was snowing a little bit yesterday. Ooh. Heather, 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 give me your email for a PayPal payment. Because, y'all, I can't Venmo everybody. My bank account will flag it. Because I don't be spending money like that. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I've been saving up to do this. So I, I've been ready for like two months. Heather, did I miss Heather's email, y'all? Heather, send me your email for a PayPal so we can move on, girl. Did I miss it, y'all? Heather, Heather, Heather. Heather. You sent it three times. Somebody, I see I'm in Houston. That's it. Y'all, did somebody see Heather's email address? Maybe YouTube is flagging it. Yeah, I bet it is because you put, it's like a link. Create it. Okay. Creativity. Creativity by Heather B. Um, what is it at Gmail Yahoo? Yeah, it's definitely uh, it's definitely flagging it. Is it Gmail? Okay, Gmail. Heather, what you got in your profile picture? A rolling tray? Okay. Your profile picture of 
it's a yellow plate and a and some juice or something. Heather, what you be making, girl? Oh, cards. Okay, I'm finna send it now. Okay, y'all. All right. All right. <laughs> Cards. That's because I be doing too much, right? <laughs> okay. I just I just sent it. You should be receiving it. Okay. Look, somebody already typing 12. Y'all are funny. Okay, we're going to do it simple. If you know me, you'll probably win this one a little sooner. Ready? Oh, let me type it. We, uh, If you're new here, we're doing a 100K giveaway. I'm giving away $100 10 times. We're guessing numbers at this point. First person to get it on my feed is the one. Somebody already said seven. You know what? Forget y'all. Because I ain't even said go. <laughs> So I'm going back to one to hundred because y'all know me too good. Okay, let's do one to one hundred. Now go. Nobody's gotten it yet. Oh, somebody did. Hold on. Let me scroll up because a bunch of y'all typed it because y'all think y'all know me like that. It's Britney's life, duh. That's the first person I see because the number is seventy-seven. Is Britney's life duh? <laughs> yes way, girl. Yes way. It's I like that name. It's Britney's life, duh. Send me your PayPal email address, girl. <laughs> Y'all know my favorite number seven. Y'all knew I was gonna pick that for one of these. Because somebody just been guessing seven every time and you show with one. Because So you have to send it like, if your name is apples at gmail.com, you have to send apples first and then just tell me whatever the ad is. Because it'll flag your comment if you put the ad. Yes, yeah, Simple Shop, she was not first. I always call her Simple Shops and I know her name. That's That's funny. Is Britney's life? Send me your email. Send money. Make sure that if you're here, you're hitting the like button. I appreciate that. Let's see. Y'all tell me if I miss her. Thank you. So excited to be a part of the 1K Club. That means I get a plaque now. Ooh. Ooh, who ain't official? Thank you, Money Garden Budget. Thank you for being here. I know it's in the middle of the day. Y'all probably at work. Should I just do 500 then come back this evening? Brittany, did you send me your email address? Because it didn't um, it didn't come across. You have to send the, the first part and then the app part second. Okay, I'll do 500 now, and then I'll come back tonight and do the other 500. Um, I know you, yeah, you have to send it separate. It won't. Because I can't see it. I haven't seen anything come across. Thank you so much for the congratulations. Thank you for being a part of the community, because y'all made it happen. Zoe, you going to be asleep? I forget we on different time zones. I be trying to be fair for everybody. Girl, me.com. Listen, just text it to my business number. Because uh, at this point, I'm going to type the number in. And y'all don't be calling and bugging me. <laughs> because I ain't got time. I will change the number. 
Text your email address to that number. Somebody didn't call me 38 times. Who is this? Okay. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for that text, we'll do another one. This time, let's do... Oh. Hold on, y'all. Let me send this money. So we're going to do... Ease up. Okay, sorry y'all. Okay, uh, um, is there a blue and white banner on your thing, Brittany? Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely ain't said nothing yet. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna send it because I think that's right. Okay, so we're going to give away $200 more and then I'll come back tonight and I will give away the rest. Okay? Is everybody ready? Excuse me. <clears throat> we're going to switch it up. Okay. No, nah, I'm just kidding. We ain't. I'll just be trying to trick y'all. Um, okay. We're gonna go a number one to a number one to twenty. Go. I said one to twenty. Let's see. Oh, somebody already got it. Melissa Perez. Melissa Perez, my number was 19. Okay. Melissa, can you text that same number, um, your email address, or type it in separately so I can send you a PayPal? Congratulations, Melissa. M. Perez one nineteen at what y'all? Gmail. Cool. M. Perez one nineteen. Okay. One moment. One moment. You don't have a profile picture on your thing, do you, um, Melissa? No. Okay. Just making sure, girl. I like when you have a profile picture. I can judge y'all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ooh, girl, act like you can spell. Okay, last one. Last one. Good. Okay, I'm glad you got it. 
And Melissa, yours should be to you as well. So we've given away 400. Let's do the last 100 for this live. I'll come back tonight and we will give away the other. So the night people get a chance. Okay, you're welcome, Melissa. <laughs> Nadia said y'all don't say nothing, okay? Because she needs to win. Okay, for this one, let's do a number between... Let me close my eyes and pick because y'all know the numbers I'll be picking. Okay, a number between 1 and 100 for this last one. Go. Jesse, we're glad you're here, girl. Oh, sh. Okay, let me scroll up. What did I pick? Okay. I don't see any winners yet. Ooh, somebody's close, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. It zoomed up on me. Okay, let me go back to the top. Okay. Ooh, so close. Jessica Beck. Jessica Beck is the winner. My number is 94. Let me scroll up, make sure I don't see anybody before Jessica. I double check because these are aging eyes. Mm. Nope, Jessica Beck. You got it, sis. Jessica Beck. She still here? Y'all are uh, the she won, y'all. She won, y'all. <clears throat> Come back tonight, girl, if you didn't win this one. Congratulations, Jessica. <laughs> yeah, I can Venmo you. If y'all come back tonight, y'all need to go get PayPal address. Because <laughs> I'm not even more than nobody else today. What's your info? Uh, what? Oh. Just back zero zero. Okay. Y'all still sending numbers. I'm weak. Definitely get PayPal. Definitely get PayPal. I don't know what time tonight. I got a whole lot going on. Uh, I got a lot to do today. So whatever time after I have dinner and get the energy to come back and do this. Y'all know Black Friday is next week, bruh. Like, I got to get my content made so I can start pushing it out so y'all can get the deals. <sighs> I thought I was ahead of the game, y'all. This is the part of business they don't tell you about. I'm hiring a team. I'm getting at least two full-time employees next year because when I tell you I've been sleeping like four hours a night, I got to record two YouTube videos. A week and a half's worth of TikTok content. Got to finish my course, get that uploaded. Got to get product pictures up for the products. It's just a whole lot, a whole lot. Of and so while I have you here, Black Friday is not going to be at baddiesandbudgets.com. It's going to be at Baddies Black Friday. So hopefully we'll get that site up <laughs> tomorrow. But I'll start sharing more information here. We got a really dope-ass bundle deal. Probably the best deal I've ever ran. And we also have the course. And if you buy them together, you save even more money. So for you newbies. I know that's right, girl. I wish I could do No Spend November, but I'm getting me a, a Bartesian. You hear me? Uh, that I'm getting that. Yeah, I have a moderator. She just ain't here. What didn't show? Yeah, girl. I'm getting me one of them little liquor Keurigs. I don't even drink like that, but it's just, I just want it. So I can say, would you like a beverage? When people come over. Would you like a martini? I got you. 
<laughs> Girl, I do not need no liquor problem. I do not. I'm going to get that in a treadmill. Y'all see my under desk treadmill back there? I don't be using it because it don't have no rails. And I'm top heavy and I be feeling like I'm going to fall. So I'm going to sell that. And the um, it came with like a standing desk. And I'm going to buy me a treadmill because, honey, I miss my neck. Yeah, girl, don't buy them up because I got to get me one. So, yeah. Somebody's still guessing numbers. How much what? Uh, Nateria? Nateria? <laughs> what did I say? Why are people laughing? Oh, because I said I missed my neck. I'm being for real. Bye, Beth. Have a good day at work. Yes, hopefully. So I'm shutting my shop down for physical products in December, and I'm going to build out my 2023 budget planner. I'm going to build out, I may do a new savings book. The one I have does so well, and it's not like yearly based. So I may, or I don't know. And I don't think I'm going to revamp my monthly challenges. I love them. I may change a few months, but. Oh, girl, you, you don't you don't want that treadmill because it's going to cost a hundred dollars to ship it probably a grand it's like it's for it's a fat people treadmill meaning like if you're not a fat person you can just get a cheap one off of amazon because that one is um sturdier for if you're over 250 pounds or whatever um so yeah i was just gonna sell it locally yeah and i don't, I don't know how to box that up like <laughs> i don't want to ship that i don't have where do you get a box that big like Yeah, for sure. Okay, y'all. Well, can you tell the whole purpose for your iPad? What do you mean the whole purpose? Thank you. Thank you so much. Y'all, if y'all got to get back to work, go back to work. Don't let me hold you. Just hit the like button on your way out. Thank y'all for being here. In A7 size? Girl, how's the paycheck breakdown? You wouldn't be able to see nothing. I could maybe do like an expense tracker. But your items are too high. No, you're just not my <laughs> my target audience. My prices are what they are. <laughs> she said if this job. I use an iPad Pro, but I mine's like from 2021, I think. They just put a new one out, and I ordered it, and then I was watching some reviews on the specs, and I canceled the order because it's the exact same. That's okay, lovely red. Life be life and Keep going. Don't let that deter you from your savings goals. Pick yourself up and start right back over again. Thank you so much. Girl, I know my items are priced correctly. Honey, it gives quality. If you want cheaper, go find it, honey, because the price is the price. <laughs> There's tons of markets out there. You know what I mean? Find your where you're comfortable. You can't allow customers to set your price. You find the value, right? The cost of your time, the cost of your products, the cost of your shipping products. People don't consider that stuff. And then the fact that you want it next day like Amazon, so I got to hire people right? Please. The price is the price. I don't argue that. That's one thing we don't ever have to debate. And they're going up. As the cost of items and shipping and all that stuff, the shipping costs, they add anywhere from 40 to 80 cents on every package this time of year. Every year. That doesn't sound like much, but consider that we're shipping out five to 600 packages a week. The price is the price. You set your value, you determine it. There's so many things that go into pricing a product. People love to say, well, I could just Amazon. Well, honey, go on Amazon. Because those are people just like me too. They just buy it in larger bulk. Y'all think y'all making somebody rich. And I promise it's not that. But, you know, the game is to be sold, not told. So, Y'all 
Yeah, and you know what the thing is, is I understand that baddies and budgets can be a luxury for some people. So that means that if you're not in a position to make that investment, buy what you can afford. I never try to force my stuff on people because I have a target market of people who can afford it, as you can see with the success of my business. So as a business owner, one thing that you do have to understand is that everybody is not your audience. Everybody don't like pink. You know what I mean? So... <laughs> <laughs> market to your audience price for your audience if you are just a small shop and you don't you know you don't have a lot of overhead then yeah you can price things cheaper we are a growing scaling brand honey and the prices will match but we also try to elevate the quality and the production to meet that as well right that's what i'm saying amberlyn and especially like people beg for like those uh, laminated and handmade envelopes. I'm just about ready to cut those out of my business because you don't make any money. Like I be wanting to charge ten dollars an envelope. From the time it takes to make those to the materials, and you can really only charge four or five dollars an envelope. You might make sixty cents per envelope for something that took you all day to make. It's crazy. People don't get it. And the thing is, is they'll never go and Target and Walmart and do that. They just nitpick with small businesses. You will never pick up a box of cereal and walk up to the front and say, this is too high. Y'all's prices are too high. You won't do that. They save that for us. That's what I'm saying. Like, I invest and pour into small businesses all the time. I kid you not. I don't do it for people to know, though. I just do it. Passed by this lady on TikTok. She was talking about wanting to get more than six sales in her little sticker shop. I placed like a $200 order because you got to pour into other people's dreams. Like, it's like she had the office stickers. So I bought some packs and just some cute little stickers she had. And I just do stuff like that because when people are dream chasing, it can get discouraging. You know what I mean? With people tell, always talking bad about you and it's too high and it's too this and it's too that. Child, pay the price or move on. No, I'm not making a video on how I make my envelopes. There are videos out there, but <laughs> if we now if we decide we're not going to sell them no more, I will do that. But in the meantime, no. I know it's creators who do that, but imagine you make strawberry cake and it sells well and people love the quality. Are are you going to give away the recipe? Or some stuff I just don't share. But you can definitely look it up on YouTube, and they'll teach you. You have to, like, tweak it to get them to be durable, but you can make you some good envelopes. If I do it, I, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, cut you up some baseball card holders. Oh, you talking about 100 envelope challenge envelopes? No, mine aren't the size of baseball card holders. <laughs> you definitely have to price accordingly. If my small business people are here, please understand that you have to consider, if I could pull up my bank account, I would. I pay state taxes. I pay federal taxes. I pay self-employment taxes. <laughs> There's the cost of shipping. Like I put pins in every order, right? You don't pay for that. They're like $1,200 a box. That's a business expense. That's not included in your price. There's the boxes. There's the labels, the label maker, you know, the internet bill. Like there's so much overhead. And when you're cheap and you try to just price things, so, oh, she's selling it for $30. I'm going to sell it for $25. you are cutting your head off. You know what I mean? You have to package up. So you have to add up everything, all of the costs, everything it costs to make that product. So it's the cost of the product right? It's the cost of the shipping to get it here. It's the, what time do I have to put into creating the product, right? What does it cost to ship it? What does it cost to use the products to ship it? What does it cost to market? All those things are included inside of the price. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they do sell well. Like, if I made... So, we have some um, fall paper that we need to get rid of. And I'm not going to do peekaboos. We're just going to do solid colored envelopes. We'll put them up. They don't last through the day. <laughs> like two or three hours and they're gone. But my niece will sit here for eight or nine hours making them. And it'll just be like 120 envelopes, which is like 30 sets. 
So it's just a time payoff. Time trade, it doesn't, it doesn't add up. My loyal customers definitely pay my prices. Like <laughs> when people see the value in you and your brand, it's not a question. Like I can pull up certain people that have spent thousands of dollars with me that could have spent it elsewhere, but people buy into you and your brand. Like, but the standard was set for baddies and budgets from the very first launch. I never underpriced myself. I always carried it as a semi-luxury brand. As it goes forward, it will continue to be more luxury and it will provide more luxury. Yes, see? MT knows. I started my business with my stimulus check. I was broke as hell. I have no money. I needed that stimulus check. Like we were eating noodles <laughs> and buying. I bought a cricket and I bought my initial stock from China. It was a lot cheaper then and shipping was a lot cheaper. Um, it was like right during, right during COVID. And there weren't as many people doing it then as there are now. Like the way, even the way budgeting stuff is readily available across those other platforms, it was not like that when I started. I really got in at the right time. Like the timing was, I bet on myself at the right time. Hey, Nadia, go, hey, have a great day. Uh, We're going to ship some more orders. I don't know about today, y'all. It's like 32 degrees outside. But maybe tomorrow. So if you didn't, we've been trying to ship them all this week because it's a no-go next week. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the math not mathing. Yeah. Well, and I run a business to make a profit at the end of the day. I think that's the thing that a lot of people don't want to be honest and say is that, yes, the business is intended to make money, but I also work my ass off to be sure that I'm providing y'all with great content, with <laughs> great production, great, you know what I mean? So am I supposed to do that and be poor? No, <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm, you know, what's crazy is we went in, <laughs> I just looked at my, I got to go fix some products. We literally have a products that I haven't put on the site yet. Like we got a custom highlighter set made for people who are just starting so they can go through and highlight on their bank statements. I ain't put them up. I got these cute gel pens. Crazy. Yes. Financially looks. I love that for you. Oh yeah. I hear you girl. Yeah, I don't haggle. You can talk to yourself. I'm I'm not changing my price. I don't I, this is not a flea market. It's given blocked. I don't no. Literally. Literally. Yeah, dude, the price of like so I wasn't buying near as much inventory as I do now, but so let's say I purchased a hundred binders wholesale, right? it may have cost me $300 to ship it from China. Now it probably costs six. Like it's, it's out there. So even I, with the revenue and income that we make, I have to plan in advance and I put it on a boat. Now I used to be able to, you know, ship it over via like UPS or FedEx flights. It's not, it's no longer affordable. I don't, if people are doing that, I know they have, they're not making much profit. It's just not realistic. That's why I started the wholesale program too, because I understand that's going to be a pain point for a lot of you guys who are starting businesses because you can't afford it. You won't make no money. So I eat the initial shipping costs by buying a uh, way more stock. So it's a little cheaper and then I sell it wholesale. So I don't make as much profit as selling them individually but it also doesn't require as much work from me. And again, it does what I really, really, really want to do, which is enable other people to make money. So that's my passion project going forward. Don't listen to them complaining. But if you increase your... So here's the... Hear me out. We're going to have a small business TikTok, uh, a TED Talk. So here's the thing about business, right? So if I go to... Um, McDonald's, right? So double cheeseburgers used to be a dollar. You remember? 
or a, I think they were like 99 cents or a dollar. And then one day you go to McDonald's and they're like a dollar 29. And it's like, what happened? These used to be a dollar. <laughs> like you don't understand how the price changed, but the product didn't. Right. It's like, I, I feel like y'all just raising the price to raise the price. It, it makes you feel some type of way. So that's also how your customer is, right? Remember, chips used to be 99 cents. Now they're $1.49, $1.29. You're not giving me anything different. This bag is still full of air. Why does it cost more money? So whenever you create a business and you say, okay, well, here's the envelopes I sell, y'all. You're insecure about the pricing. You don't want to seem too expensive. So you're like, okay, these are a dollar, right? These envelopes are a dollar. I need to hold this here because it makes me look not so washed out. Um, and then I come back and next month, because I'm like, ooh, I'm not making enough. This is too much work. And now I'm like, boom, they're $2. They, they're not going to want to pay it. So you have to either, if you've already made that mistake of underpricing yourself, you're going to have to say, here are these envelopes. Here's why they're so great. And throw in some type of value so that they don't see the increase as you just changing the price, but instead as you providing them more value, right? Period. <laughs> it does not work. I've tried it. And the thing I will do actually is if I'm really unsure, because I get that way sometimes. So with the new wallets and binders I put out, I was going to charge $100 a piece for them. And... um that was just to allow for some more profit so that with the next order, I could order more because I knew they were going to sell out. And so I sat down and we really figured out, okay, well, we can do 75. And so what I the plan was, if I was really insecure and I really wanted to do that price, we would have put them on the site for 100, right? And if they didn't move, then we just drop it down. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's better to do that versus... Um, let me put this. It's better to do that versus trying to raise the price, right? Or run a sale at, at the big price. But don't ever undersell yourself because that's where people will put the value of your brand. And you don't want to have to build back from that. It's it's tough. <sighs> um, yeah, I'm once I get some more free time, I'm go <laughs> I'm going to y'all. I was supposed to be recording something for YouTube. Hold on, y'all. They just emailed me, but <sighs> okay. Did y'all see that I, um, I'm a part of the YouTube Black Voices Fund? If y'all follow me on Instagram, that I, I got accepted. That's so cool. Okay. Uh, Diana actually just posted a short on that. Go look at them. The A7 is smaller. So this is A7. A5s are huge. Uh, A5, A7. Okay. You finally got the job of your dreams after five months of being on welfare and want to get your finances back. Uh, what's the question, though? Congratulations. I'm glad you got the job of your dreams. What's your question for me? Thank you. I love the keychains too. <laughs> you know what, girl? That makes me really happy, Brittany. See, I be knowing the time and be pristine on stuff like this. I know it's it's really, really, really crazy. Um, budget the fraction way. Do you have an audience? An audience that is like asking you for products or wants to purchase from you. Do you have that kind of audience? 
Okay, Margie, the pink and white wallet will be back probably January-ish. Like I said, I'm not doing any physical products in December. We take the month of December off. I only do social media, YouTube and stuff in December because we work all year. So that gives everybody on my team a break. I'm actually going through rebranding with this company, a really big investment for me. So then I, Etsy's probably your best bet. Or if you have the time to invest in marketing and trying to build an audience, Shopify is the goat for e-commerce. But the thing, so Etsy charges hella fees, but Etsy provides you the audience, right? So who, y'all give me just one second, please. Baddies and budgets. Uh-huh. Okay. So what did, what did you need us to do? Yes. Uh just text your order number to this phone and I'll go cancel it real quick for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay. Who was I talking to? Okay, we're talking about Etsy. So Etsy charges hella fees, right? Hella fees. But Etsy provides you the audience, meaning people go to Etsy to shop for handmade goods, right? But so th this uh, this is good for, you know, a little bit of brand recognition if you market it well enough, um, get you some money from sales, you know what I mean? But whenever you buy something from Etsy, or normal people who aren't within our niche, and somebody asks them where they got it, what do they say? I got this from Etsy. They don't say I got it from um, budgeting the fraction ways Etsy shop. So it doesn't really give you any name or brand recognition, but it's a good way to build up an audience where you can say, okay, well, all I have left over here on Etsy is these two types of envelopes. For the rest of the stuff, head over to my Shopify shop and start trying to direct your audience over there, that may work. But if you want to start on Shopify, you have to do the work of bringing in the audience. They do have a lot of marketing tools to help, email marketing, text marketing, stuff like that. And you can also use funnels. So funnel in your audience from your YouTube channel, from your Instagram, from your TikTok. But like Baddies and Budgets started on Shopify. So I've built up the following, like I built up the audience. They've grown with me. Like my very first customers were my very first subscribers. So you really have to be intentional about your marketing if you're going to go into Shopify with no audience. Okay. I hope that helps. Let me cancel this young ladies. She was trying to use a sizzle or something. One moment, y'all. So, yeah, if you have any other business questions, I don't mind answering them in this um, in this live. I'm going to do a small business masterclass here soon that's an hour long to help more people because I know a lot of y'all want some help. What inspired me to, to start this business? It, you know, whenever I first started, there weren't a ton of people selling budgeted items. And especially not like when I first started, the covers were booming. Like it was, it was different. And um, so I saw a lane for it. I didn't have another means of income. And I knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. So I went for it. There was no, no big thing. I just said, I hope this works. <laughs> um, I, I did. So the very first business I started was uh, I had a credit repair company. Hated it. Hated it. It just felt really predatory. And I'm not that kind of person. I don't like that. So then I started selling lashes. That went phenomenally. It was before everybody was selling lashes. So they were booming. Like I made so much money. But then the market got oversaturated and I had to lower my prices and I didn't like that. It felt a little bit like, <laughs> I don't know. So I said, well, let me move and do something else. So I started selling clothes 
uh, like boutique style clothes. This is before she in, this is before all that stuff. And so those sold really well for me too. But in order to have a full clothing boutique, you have to be able to purchase a ton of inventory. And I just didn't have the money. And so move over to plus size clothes and that kind of eh, kind of went. And eventually it was just like, yeah, I think I'm um, spending more money than I'm making. So I chilled on it. So let me refund her for the $100 challenge. So, yeah, but again, all those really ultimately failed. I wasn't able to make them a business long term. Did that make me give up and say I'm never going to start another business? No, but each business taught me something new that I was able to carry to the next one. So, you know, do I experience lack of support from peers? Um, I don't really have a lot of peers, but the couple friends I do have, they're very encouraging. I'm really blessed in the friend area because uh in my family life I don't have that support I don't outside of like my dad and my nieces I and my big sister I don't I don't do family so I think that's how life is filling my cup with my friends I have like three and they're very supportive I but I don't I don't rely on their support to keep me encouraged if that makes sense you can't you can't put that in other people's hands because the minute something flips or they're not there for you. You don't get the reaction that you want. You'll be sick and sad. I find that in here. Yes, not the $7,000, Terry. Go on, girl. I love that for you. Okay. That's awesome, y'all. Terry is out here killing it. What are you scared of? You want to start a small business, but you're scared. What are you scared of? Have a good day, lovely Red. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, good for you saving for your future home. Oh, dog grooming. Girl, y'all are killing it out here. She started her dog grooming business and she's celebrating her one year anniversary. That's awesome. And you're getting ready to expand. I love that for you. Yeah, if you want it from the Caribbean, you may see if there's like a third party shipping company. I know there's some people um, that order from me in the Caribbean and they ship it to a third party company and then that third party company brings it to them. It's in Florida, I think. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I've learned and more so with family than friends that people can kill your dreams and <laughs> I, you just can't give them that kind of control. You just can't. Someone that's starting out some do's and don'ts, like you want to start selling your tumbler and shirts, but you don't know where to start. You just started giving your fam. So Amber, because, again, that's a pretty heavily saturated market, right, with a whole lot of super talented people. So I would go through and look at their businesses and see kind of how they've niched down and what's what kind of success they're having. And then you want to build you a niche like that. So just because a million people tell, sell shirts, right, doesn't mean you can't sell shirts. You just need to find a pain point, right? So meaning I don't see anybody selling like the one lady I see who's having a ton of success. She came in when everybody was making hoodies and she started making like mental awareness hoodies. And the arm said like, you can cry here or something. You know what I mean? And she sells out all the time. I see her come across uh, my for you page. So you just have to find your lane within that niche, right? So don't come in and just copy what everybody else is making. Put your own sauce on it. And put it out there and see how it does if it's received. If not, go back to the drawing board. Bosses, have a good day. I can try to cover taxes. It Y'all ain't going to be that deep. It's going to be like $10 a seat. And we'll just go over the basics. Well, it'll be literally a Zoom. <laughs> because I know there are a ton of y'all and it's getting ready to be the new year when everybody's going to be getting a income tax money. So I just want to really put it out there before... Y'all do that where if you do want to invest in yourself, you at least have some type of, you know, 
don't be getting sucked in by them people trying to charge you nine thousand dollars for a course when I can just give you the basics and you can build from there. <sighs> yeah, well, um, so if you want to do like a one on one, you'll have to book that. That ain't gonna be no ten dollars because my time is <laughs> is a little more expensive than that. But I can make myself available. That can be like an upgrade. I don't know that we'll cover developing ideas. That's that's a lot to fit into an hour, developing an idea to product acquisition. Like, especially for people who are starting at the ground, there's no way. Like, and that's not the price point that it would be for something like that. I'll be completely honest. Um, that would be more of a course type deal. But it will definitely be how to take your idea and pull it together so that you can start your small business or your side hustle. But developing your idea, no. You let someone borrow $550 and they haven't paid you back. They paid you $100 and still owe you $450. Uh, one thing my dad always taught me is I don't let people borrow money that I can't afford to not get back. Um, And really, you can apply that to anything in your life. Don't ever give away something that you're not okay with losing. Because what if you let somebody borrow $1,000 and they get hit by a bus? Lord forbid, right? You ain't getting that back. What you gonna do? Go to the funeral and uh, Earl owed me a thousand dollars. So y'all can y'all pull that out the wheel? Like you know what I mean? So before you consider giving or helping anybody, family, friends, will I be okay if I never get this back? Just ask yourself that quick question. If the answer is no, keep your money in your pocket. Yeah, this is this is you know it's like any other community. I see some mess from time to time, but typically it's. It's a pretty supportive place. I think because the community and the audience is, we're all pretty much the same people. Everybody just trying to get it together. You know what I mean? You're very welcome. I don't know, y'all. Like, I haven't put the idea together. That's, again, that's the thing I'm going to do in December. But I was just putting it out there because I know a lot of y'all want business advice. So I don't have it completely structured and ready to go. But it will be for if you're like, okay, I have an idea. I know what I want to do. But where do I start? It's the place for you. If you already have a thriving business and you want tax information and all, <laughs> stay tuned for something later. It's definitely for beginners. Whenever I first started, the amount of research I had to do just to do bare minimum, <laughs> just how do I get started? What do I do with this? Where does that come from? How do I do that? What forms do I need for that? I, it took so much time and work. And so I just want to answer those questions for you so that you don't get discouraged while trying to start. You know what I mean? Because it's a lot. I spent a lot of time, a lot of time, a lot of money <laughs> trying to figure it all out. Because, again, first generation, you know. Yeah. First step to cash stuffing is figure out where your money is going. Meaning your current spending, you need to figure out where you have been spending your money. You started a handmade jewelry lanyard business and had about three sales. You got discouraged with the marketing. You can't get discouraged. You have to keep pushing. What if the day you quit is the day your marketing was going to work? Think about it like that. You have a larger backpack style purse. Do you think the A7 wallet would work for that style of purse? Um, so... Here's the A7 wallet. I don't I don't know. Backpack purses come in a lot of sizes. Here's my cell phone. So I guess if you could fit a cell phone and a half in there, it might work. They're not super big. They're I literally can just grab it and go. Side note, I can't even carry this locally because people bother me. Like, oh my God, that's so cute. Girl, I don't sell locally. You better get on the website. They love that red one. Uh, Robin, that's totally up to you. Uh, digitals, you can literally just down, um, you purchase them and it's available at checkout usually. And you can just print them. If you're trying to get started like today, yes. If not, we have like budget sheet notepads. We have an actual budget planner. You have an idea for your business. You're going to book a one-on-one. -on -one. You're trying to do a course, huh? 
You want to present it correctly for your niche. Okay. I bet you're overthinking it. I guarantee you're overthinking it, MT. Listen, I don't want to do business with people I love. <laughs> I don't want to do business with them. They, they're they those, It's but it's so expensive. Uh-uh. You know what? My other businesses may have had success if I would have put them online instead of trying to sell to local people because they are so discouraging. I do not. Ooh, I'm looking crazy. I do not. Um, <laughs> I don't. Forget them. <laughs> no, they're so. I'm from a small town. It ain't nothing here but mess. And they're just so. They do not want to see other people have success. Like, it's crazy. Thank you so much. I, it's so crazy. 100K. Like, who we think we are over here at Baddies and Budgets? <laughs> How many accounts should I have? That depends on you. Um, I personally have business accounts. For me personally, I have a checking account that my bills come out of. I have a checking account in case I need to do any swiping. I have a sinking funds savings account that's in a it's in a thing. It has a whole lot of money, so it gains extra interest. I can't think of the next certificate account. I don't know, something, but it's high yield. And then I have a savings account that's like holds an emergency fund and like general savings. And then I have investment accounts. I'm not sure if Fetch is international. Hey, Nikki, you're very welcome. Yeah, MT, I think I closed my booking books, but if you hit me in December, we can get together and do something. Um, Because I will literally have no time for the next two weeks. Black Friday sale, if you want to know, make sure you're on the email list. It's really two offers, a physical product and my uh, very first <laughs> how to build a budget course that I'm so nervous about that I really hope <laughs> y'all like Uh, thank you. Thank you. Congrats. You recently started your YouTube channel and I'm definitely the queen. Listen, so when I started YouTube, let's talk about YouTube for a second. So when I started YouTube, um, the people I looked up to that had big, big followings that weren't like, you know, the huge people, the, the, the big people, like hundreds of thousands, they had like 10, 15, 20 K, right? And so I was always like, oh my God, that's my goal. I just want to be right there with them. Cause I had like a thousand subscribers. And so I just kept going and kept going. And I remember stalling out and other people who had started with me had surpassed me. And I was like, what am I doing wrong? Like I went back to the drawing board, did SEO, did all this other stuff. And eventually I just stopped worrying about it. I just started putting out content and I'd celebrate milestones whenever they would come. And now look, look where we are. Like, I, the minute I stopped focusing on subscriber count and just focused on the content, it's up. Like, what? A hundred K. Like, what? For a budgeting channel? Like, people think finance is boring. And a hundred thousand people care about what I have to say. Like, if that ain't dope, I don't know what is. You know? I can't keep talking about it because I'll be crying and I don't like crying on the internet. Um, Amber, if there is, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, you definitely are going to need an A6. You know what? Simple Shops just released them, but I ordered some too. They're little, they look like little envelope wallets, but they probably won't be here too. December, but those are probably what you're looking for. But in the meantime, she has them. I'm so glad you've learned so much from me. You know what? In December, I have like this whole, I wish I had my notebook. I have this whole plan for just putting out educational content because I feel like sometimes we get so looped into just cash stuffing. And so I have a whole month's worth of educational content planned out of literally just the basics. Like I have a whole, <laughs> whole month's worth to educate more people because I feel like so many people have questions or are getting caught up. 
So that was the point of the course. And then we'll go even further and just keep putting out educational content. <sighs> Apartment or home savings. Can you explain that strategy? What do you mean? Ask me that in a different way. So I comprehend a little better. That's it, girl. Just focus. Don't focus on the numbers. Don't focus on the money and watch it flow. Like I watch people on TikTok all the time stressed about not enough brand partnerships. I have never reached out to a brand like, hey, do you want to work? Da, 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 da. They email me 19 times a day. And there's two things I've learned about money. When you don't chase it <laughs> because it'll forever be running and always have some kind of baseline, some kind of morals, some type of guidelines that you will not go out of. That's another thing I want to do is teach y'all how to make money from brands. But that can probably be a Zoom course too. But like there's, I'm talking about, I probably turn down $40,000 in brand deals a month. And that's not saying that they're offering huge amounts of money. That's probably 30 deals because I have a base rate. You can pay it or you can not. And I don't share things that I would not use in real life or that aren't beneficial or mutually beneficial. Um, and like the less I chase money, the more money I make. Like when I used to just sit and share, stare at my Shopify money, every, like it didn't flow. Now, sometimes the money comes and I get overwhelmed. Like, <laughs> so stop chasing it. Just do the right things, put in the marketing, do the groundwork and the money comes like money is attracted to hard work. It's attracted to being intentional. You know what I mean? For instance, people always tell you when you're tired to take a break, right? The entire time I've had a YouTube channel, I've never gone more than like two weeks without posting. And that's when stuff is stupid busy. Like when I'm tired and I want to just get burnt out and just leave YouTube and come back in a month, I don't allow myself to do that because I feel like it's so unintentional for building a brand for me to just disappear. Because what happens when people stop seeing you? They stop thinking about you. Then YouTube stops putting you out there. And then you come back and you have to start building all the way from zero to try to get back in the algorithm. Like sometimes you have to push past yourself to really build it to where you want to be. Eventually, when it's at a million subscribers, you can, you know, come back and just do less. But you have to be really intentional about doing things and being consistent, even when you're tired, <laughs> even when you don't have the motivation or you don't feel like it and you'll reap the rewards. So definitely don't stop posting. Get on Google and look up high yield savings accounts. Talk to your current bank and see if they have one or another form of it. That's literally it. I, um, Allies are really good when I was going to use them before my credit union. That, that's it. Focus on the craft. Focus on getting the education and the content out there. And people will gravitate. Who would think? 100K for a budgeting channel. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. And I'm not, like, niche. So I don't get on here. And it's not like an ASMR channel. You know what I mean? Because it's that's different. It's not like... Um, I don't even do the kind of content I want to do yet, where it's like showing y'all how to make this amount of money in a certain week. You know, those finance channels like that. I'm not even that yet. That's what's crazy is in the next year, you'll start to see that kind of content as well. And we're really going to see some growth. So I'm really excited about that. Will I be doing Vlogmas? Mm, you might get a vlog or two. I don't know that I'm going to be doing one every day. Um, I'm trying to take December off, so to speak, so I won't be overexerting myself, no. But you'll definitely see some content on that other channel um, as well as here. But every day, it's a no. No, no, no. I'd have to have, like, an editor on my team <laughs> because, mm -mm. and we're all so boring. Like, we don't, we don't really do nothing like that. Y'all be like, girl, again, we at the house? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a business degree. I have a science degree. So, you know, the best degree for business is getting into business and figuring it out. You know what I mean? I would love to have more of a marketing background. That would be dope. I've been thinking about taking some classes at our community college here. But other than that, you can teach yourself the rest of that stuff. YouTube is a university within itself. Most things that you want to learn, 
you can find on YouTube, especially now with more people trying to grow brands and trying to, you know, put more stuff out there to monetize, they're sharing more information. So there's really not much of anything that you can't learn on YouTube. Let's be honest. It's not that you don't have the resources. It's that you're too lazy to go and look them up and get them. You want somebody to hand it to you. But we don't want to talk about that. How to start a YouTube channel. Are you talking about like like literally like how to set it up or? Thank you, Kat. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. That's what I call it, YouTube University. I've taught myself everything I know about running a business from reading books and YouTube. I have not, I don't have a mentor. I don't have a business coach. I don't have any of those things. Would you believe I've never run an ad <laughs> ever? I've just marketed. I market. Any social platform you look on, Baddies and Budgets is there. That is very intentional. But it's also not easy. I have my phone in my hand all the time, posting, reposting, repurposing, sharing, commenting on other places. So, but I also don't have to spend $40,000 a month on ads. So, you know. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, people message me all the time and get pissed because they're like, well, who's your vendor? And I'm like, I don't share that. You know how much money I have paid and spent trying to find a good vendor? You can have it, but you're going to pay me $10,000 for it. Like, stuff like that, I'm not going to share. Tips and stuff to help you out? Oh, absolutely. I go back and forth with people all the time. And like I said, I'm working on the master class so that I can help more of y'all at once. But sometimes you literally just have to do the work. And the thing is, is what's so crazy is the people who approach me and have all these generic questions that they could find out on their own, I know that you're not going to make it. Because if you're not willing to do the work to learn the small things, what happens when you come across an issue in your actual business? You're going to give up. Because if you can't even do the things to figure out how to get it going, like, bro, business is tough. There is so much you think you know that you have no idea. You can have a finance background and you still have no idea. There's stuff you come across. There's things you have to keep up with. There's some stuff you're just like, I don't even know how to do this. Like, what is happening? And you have to be willing to f either reach out and find people to help you. Like, thank God I have a phenomenal bookkeeper who has helped me navigate a lot of storms. Or you have to teach them to yourself. <sighs> And that's truly crazy. Yeah, it's hard to find a vendor, dude. Like, I've purchased big stuff, like big orders from them, and they're falling apart. And people having to return stuff because it's coming apart. Like, it's a whole thing. You think you can literally just look on there and buy because that's what everybody's doing? No. <laughs> the thing is, is you have to do sample orders. So that's like $150 every time just to get a couple items to check the quality. And then, that's so slick, they'll send you the good stuff with the sample orders. And then you place a big order and it gets here and that's messed up. So then you have to go back. <laughs> it's a whole thing. It is not as simple as just finding somebody and buying. Like, people just don't get it. <clears throat> I'm glad you found me too, Diana. I'm glad all y'all found me. I appreciate everybody that's here. Y'all, my nieces at school giving blood. Bless her heart. <laughs> yeah, put your nose to the grindstone. Like, I apply for, like, business grants and stuff all the time. And whenever I interview for them, they're always like, well, how did you finance your business? How did you? Baby, I have bootstrapped this thing from the beginning. Do you hear me? <laughs> Literally bootstrapped it. Everything about it. I've had no help. Me and my niece. My niece is like my right hand man, dog. Like it, at this point, it doesn't function without her. I'm nervous about her going to get a real job. <laughs> but you know, you can do it. If regular old me can do it, you can do it too. Yes, I have ADHD too, girl. It's just different. Um, I've learned that I don't do well with routines, but I need one. I think that's an ADHD thing. I don't, I kid you not. I've been, I was going to put these journals on my site, but I don't know. Anyway, it's a gratitude journal. <laughs> 
And you're supposed to write in it every day. When did I write in it? 1026, 1027, 1031, 117, 11, 8, and 1111 11 is the last thing I wrote in it. Like, I just struggle, like, with doing things repetitively. It's an issue. So you definitely have to learn to navigate. Um, finance is different, right? I have to, like, set reminders in my phone, like, did you track your expenses today? Did you do this today? But you can do it. Oh, my fro. Yes, y'all, we were. Oh, my fro. You, you're a real OG if you've been here since the oh, my fro days. <laughs> you are a real OG. Would y'all be interested? It's a really cool journal. I was just like, I don't know if people are going to want that. So I'm, I believe in like manifesting things. And so it has, it's probably backwards for y'all. But so up here in this section, it says what you're grateful for what would make today great and your daily affirmation. And then you come back at night and you put three amazing things that happen. And then what could have made today better. And while it's also the manifesting, it's also really cool to go back and see kind of your progress of what you, what you have done or what you thought was great. I like it, but they're expensive, dude. <laughs> I like with niche stuff like that, it's always kind of iffy to throw it up there because it sells so slow. So I'll think about it. Thank you so much, Kay. <laughs> it's hard journaling every day. For one, I, I I thought, okay, I'll set it on my work desk, but we've been working at the front. So obviously there's been four days I haven't even picked it up. Like, how do people just, that's what I'm saying. I need a routine. Like, I need to set a time to wake up every day. Wake up and just start doing the same stuff. Take my medication, brush my teeth, take a shower, get dressed, work. Get up, go walk, come back. <laughs> like, I need a routine. A routine. Okay, y'all. I'll, I'll order some journals. We'll try to get them up for the new year. We'll see if she'll let me do a small order because I'm not buying a thousand. <laughs> yes, girl, get that plan. I'm not even gonna show you how many planners I, I don't even buy them no more because I don't use them. If it's not my budget planner, which is in my iPad that I have with me all the time, I have a hard time using it. Yes, I edit my own videos for now. I'm trying out a few new people. That YouTube get being a part of that YouTube black thing, they like hook you up. So you'll see some really good growth while I'm in that group. Super dope. It's, I mean, like the timing is just, my God, it's just. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what to call it right now. It says the gratitude journal. You know, it's going to have something to do with Batty on the front because I can fully customize it. But then they'd be wanting you to order 500. So we'll see. Um, Better. He's better. Well, we got some news, but. You know, we're going to get through it. Thank you, S. Johnson, for asking. I do. Uh, if you go to my Instagram, there's a link in my bio to book um, a 30-minute session with me. I need to put an hour one, too, but it's not YouTube Black. It's called the YouTube Black Voices Fund. So, yeah, it's a group of, I think they chose... 137 of us and it's this group you're in and they help you grow and monetize your channel you get hooked up with um like somebody that works at youtube that works with creators in your niche and they put you up for events they put you up for brand deals they help you grow your channel show you other ways you can monetize and you also got a we had a really big stipend so um for being in the group and so it's a six month long thing and they just help you get, you know, put you more out there with social media. Thank you. Thank you. I was like floored. I did not. I'm talking about there were thousands and thousands and thousands of people that applied. And then they emailed me and I was like, what? <laughs> so it's, it's crazy. I'm in there with some heavy hitters. 
Thank you. Thank you. I have to create a video for it. Uh, so you'll see the video soon and I'll share more about it with my hair actually done. That's why my hair is like this. <laughs> Thank you. I'm good, y'all. Good. Tired. Ready to get through. I've never been so ready for Black Friday to be over. Oh, it's stressing me to death. I really tried to do it professionally this year and set up a marketing plan. And you'll start seeing we invested some money in some marketing stuff. So hopefully it pays off. And y'all come shop with your girl. Thank you, Kat. You, you are so sweet. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Was there anything else y'all want to talk about before I go finish recording? I need to go brush my teeth. I'm really on here with bad breath because I just hopped up because we were getting close to 100K. Like, we really out here. Bye. Have a good day, y'all. No, I don't do credit repair anymore. I can refer you to somebody if you'd like, though. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to head out. I'll try. Let's shoot for, let's say, 8 o'clock. And I'm on Central Time. So it may be before that, but <laughs> we'll see. Let's say around 8 Central Time. We'll come back and do the rest of the giveaway. If I get too busy, please don't kill me. I will do it tomorrow, I promise. But let's say 8 o'clock. Okay. All right, y'all. Let me get out of here. Y'all have a great day. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for being a part of this community. Would not be possible without y'all. So I appreciate y'all so much. Amber, please read my question before you go. How do I spend my money? I don't, girl. I don't have time. I literally have been in my house all week. I haven't driven my car once. Y'all think I'll be playing. Like, I don't spend no money. And if I do, it's usually business-related stuff, so I can just use my business card. But, yeah, I don't be spending like that. But if you need, here's the thing. If you need more um, spending money, then you don't have to put what I put. So if you like to spend and $20 or 10 or $20 doesn't seem realistic to you, put 40 or $50, like, your budget needs to fit your lifestyle, not mine. Some people would like to shop. That's fine. If you can fit that within your budget, put that in your um, into your cash envelopes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. As long as you can make the numbers work, do what works for you. Okay? All right. See y'all later. Bye.